Well, Shaquille O'Neal, of course, is one of the most <laughs> dominant stars in NBA history, and the Hall of Famer has found an equal amount of success pretty much in anything he tries. Yeah, exactly. you know what? You can catch Shaq in commercials, movies, as a sports broadcaster, even tours as a DJ. <laughs> Seriously. Now, he's adding documentary producer to his resume as well with Killer Bees. It centers on a high school basketball team and their coach, Carl Johnson, who inspires on and off the court in a community facing challenges with race, class, and job inequality. And we recently took the court with the big Aristotle <laughs> to talk about it all. Going head to head with Shaq. Well, sort of. I miss it on Shaquille O'Neal will do almost anything to get your attention for a good cause. That guy, you go first. Even play with a rookie like me. His new documentary, Killer Bees, is about a high school basketball team in a predominantly African-American community in one little known section of Bridgehampton. Not the affluent one, known to most as the summer playground of the rich and famous. Killer Bees, how did Shaquille O'Neal come to uh, to produce this one? This is a story that people should know, but crazy thing is I've been coming up here for years, hanging out with the, the names. Hanging that, on the know, other part of the hands. Yeah, hanging on the other part of the hands, but when you watch the, to what the kids go through, sort of reminded me of what I went through. Sacrifice, commitment, that's what I'm asking for you guys. Nobody knows about this part of what happened, so I wanted to uh, help spread the word. To me, at least, it wasn't just a documentary about basketball. What else was it about? I mean, you know, it was about life. It was about everyday struggles. The documentary uses the high school basketball team and their coach to tell a larger story about a community dealing with race, class, and gentrification. One of the players on the show I think his family got evicted, so we started a foundation. And, you know, we're helping him go to school. You know, we're helping him and his family get back on his feet. But it's like that in a lot of communities. It, it really is. You spend a lot of time, and you spend a lot of your money as well, um, giving back, doing some good. I don't consider it giving back. I consider it doing what I was taught. My father, rest in peace, always passed away. He was always my coach. So whenever one of our players get hurt, he canceled practice, and we all have to go to the hospital and visit sick children. Been doing that since I'm 9, 10 years old. So I love going to put a smile on children's faces. Putting a smile on children's faces and celebrating this community is the main reason Jack is here. But Killer Bees is just one of many projects he's involved in this summer. Getting up close and personal with Killer Sharks for Shaq Does Shark Week is another. They're trying to kill me. You swam with the shark or swam away I from the shark? I almost died. Did you almost die? Because I've seen the shark from way back, and I was saying to myself, I know he's not coming here, and he swam right in. But since I'm a ninja, I didn't panic. I just went to the bottom. <laughs> Someone said that was the fastest they'd seen Chuck move. Oh, yeah, since, I was out of there. Since his early years yeah, in the NBA. Not the later there. years, the early years. I was out of there. Because I just didn't want him to bite the moneymaker. Like, you can bite all this, but you can't That's, bite the moneymaker. That is, that is the moneymaker. Yeah, this right here is the money. <laughs> we do see, we see him everywhere. From commercials. No time for basketball. Movies. Get out of here. To apparel. Making big and tall even at seven foot one and more than 300 pounds, we can't seem to get enough of this larger than life, fun loving former NBA Hall of Famer. And with former rival and teammate Kobe Bryant winning an Academy Award recently, we had to ask Is that next for you, an Oscar? If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't compete with man. I'm not from this planet. I, I... <laughs> What planet are you from again? I can't tell you. Can't tell me. Yeah, my coordinates are off. I can't tell you. Oh, a lot of the interview we couldn't use, but Shaq, Shaq, <laughs> he's so funny. He is. He's such a good guy. He was also telling me about his mom. He said his mom, you know, she'll pick up the phone sometimes and call and say, Shaq, this person's in need or this group of people's in need. Wow. Can you write a check? Cool. And he's writing checks. Cool. There was one time on the weekend today show, he was just walking by in sweatpants, just, just cruising along. And we waved to him and yeah. said, come on in. He came and on he in. And he came in. He said, I was just he's walking that guy. He's that guy. By the way, at, <laughs> long after our cameras stopped rolling when we were out there in the Hamptons, 
taking pictures with the kids, signing cool. autographs. Truly one of the nicest guys. You said he's one of your new favorite people. One of my new favorite people. Yeah. Wow. I mean, always smile. And he's one of these people that realizes that his life has been one of blessings and fortune. Yeah. And really wants to give back. By the way, that new documentary I caught, it's really good. It's called Killer Bees. It's on video on demand. Right. That was there. nice. That was oh, nice. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.